Hey guys, it's Tim here and uh, today I'll be reviewing Stealth GPT, which is a software that allows you to take AI generated content, put that into Stealth GPT, and then it will create new content that will bypass AI content detectors. Now, I'm going to give a live demo, but in case you're interested, there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, there is a lifetime deal at this moment available, so I appreciate it if you pick it up through my link. Uh, it will help me to grow my channel as well, so I appreciate it if you uh, go through that link. All right, let's dive into this, and let me show you how Stealth GPT works. So right now, I'm logged in to the platform, as you can see, and basically it, it consists out of three tools inside of one platform. The first tool is the Stealth Bypass, as you can see here, where you can put your AI-generated content in. The second tool is a Stealth Content Generator, so you can also write content with Stealth GPT. And the third part is the Stealth Essay Generator. Now let's start with the Stealth Bypass. So what I've done is I wrote an email in ChatGPT. I'm using Typing Mind here. So I created this email and I changed only one thing and that's I added my name here at the end. So I'm going to copy this content and I go to a platform which is GPT-0 to see if this is detecting AI written content. So here you can see that it says 93% is written by AI. So Let's see if Stealth GPT can solve this problem. So we're gonna paste that content in here. And from here, you could choose whatever you'd like to do. Now, I have the Samurai, uh, Samurai, Samurai engine, uh, which comes when you go to the pricing plan here, the $14.99, you can select this one and then you have the Samurai engine. So what you see today is the Samurai engine. Now, from here, you can decide what you would like to have. So. You can say here the undetectability mode and tone. So if this is low, the undetectability has three stars here. And then the other one have five stars like the readability, etc. So you can also set this to medium and then the undetectability will be higher. And either you can put this to very high here, but then the readability is only three stars. So let's go by medium. And then in here, you can change the, the writing style, like casual, professional, uh, but let's keep this to standard. And now simply click on bypass AI detection. And now Stealth GPT will rewrite the content for you so that it is undetectable for AI detectors. So let's see what it comes up with. And there you go. Uh, this is the content that has been generated. It also gives a score, stealth score, 71%. Uh, and here it says, uh, greetings, you're invited to a seven-day financial masterclass, which will be a turning point for your finances. Feeling exhausted and overpowered by monetary issues, looking for the answer. Well, you can pause the video. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add this content to a document so that you can check it out yourself. So let's copy this content in here and to there and let's go to gpt0 that we just use to detect our content so let's paste that in here and let's scan the text and see if it's now undetectable so as you can see here the ai scan says this text is most likely be written by a human seven percent probably of this text was uh, entirely written by AI. So most of the content here is written by, by humans, it says. So it's not 0%. I've tested where it was also 0%. So let's go to another one. Let's put it in here. And here you can see another example that I did before, which had 100% content written, what you're seeing here. So let's paste a new text in here and let's see if it detects human or an AI. So this takes a few seconds to detect. And here it's 45.55. So this one detects actually some content. Let's take another one here. And let's generate here. So here you can see 65% written content. So what we're going to do here, we can say, okay, let's make it high undetectable in here. And then let's, let's rewrite the content. Let's see if that does a better job. And there you have it. So here it says stealth score 67. So I'm not sure why it is not higher than the previous one. Uh, but let's see here when we put this into GPT-0. That was 7% before. 
Uh, let's see if we paste this in here, how many percent it is now. Okay, I'm having a free account, so let's get a few parts out of this. And here you can see AI scan 0%. So this text is mostly, most likely to be written by humans. So GPT-0 doesn't recognize any AI content in here. So let's take the next one here. Let's put it in here as well. So the previous one was 45% human written and 55% AI written. Let's see if that's better. So this is already better. It's 76% human written. Let's go to the next one here. Let's put it in here. So this one was 35.65. And now it says 95% human written content. So let's take another one here. Here at the previous one with 99.8%. So let's see what it comes up with now. So let's put the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. And let's see. So now it says it has a human score of 94.5%. So as you can see, it definitely helps to put this to higher. Uh, let's read a little bit about the content here. So did you ever find yourself exhausted and struggling with monetary strife and feeling quite oppressed due to the studies of monetary work? So you can see the content is, well, the readability is not as good as it was before. So that's definitely to, yeah, to uh, stealth those AI detectors. So again, we're not gonna read everything. I'm gonna put this in a document so that you can download it yourself and read the content, what it created. Uh, but you can see it definitely helps to get through the AI detectors, which can be a good thing. Personally, I believe when you have all content written by AI, that it will not be good for when you're sending emails or when you use this in your YouTube descriptions, 100% AI. I think it will hurt your rankings and it will hurt your deliverability. So I'm looking myself also for a solution to fix that. And I don't have hard numbers for that. That's just something that I'm thinking myself. Uh, so let's go to the second one here, the stealth content generator. So let's say we want to create content here. Let's take the subject here again. So write a short promotional seven email about the seven day masterclass. And let's generate this with the stealth content creator. And again, I've put this now to high undetectable mode so that it is really undetectable. So probably you need to switch between those three depending on if you like to have it really readable or yeah, undetectable. So here you have the content. Are you looking to convert your economic potential into monetary success? Look no further. You see, it hurts to put this on high when you want to read this like a human being. But if you want to use this to rank content, probably that will work better. And I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you what it is. So here uh, we're going to do it in GPT-0 again. So here it says 48%. So that's... Half on half could be better, right? So let's uh, put this into another one here again. Let's see what this has. So the content that it writes is not even fully stealth. 66, 34. So we could, we could change a little bit here. So let's change this to medium in here. And let's say we want to have a professional language in here. So... Let's rewrite the content. And here you can see the other content that's generated here. So let me copy this because I forgot to copy the previous one and paste this in my document in here, match style. So let me call this generated content, generated content medium. And then let's paste this also into GPT-0 and let's see what it comes up with now. Now it says AI probability 4%. So you can see that when you change some stuff in here and you test some now and then, uh, it definitely helps to make it, uh, yeah, undetectable. So let me add it in here. Let's see if this has a better result here. So it was 66 before. And now it is 100% human written. So yeah. 
does stealth GPT works? Definitely. Uh, but I think you need to go over the content yourself to see if you can use this 100% in your emails or that you need to modify it yourself. Probably you need to modify it just like ChatGPT. You need to modify your content in order to send it out as an email, but probably maybe on a blog it will work. I don't know. Let's go to the third one in here. And this is the essay generator. So I'm going to do here the impact of technology on society. And then let's put the second part here. Oh, let's say discuss the impact of social media on interpersonal relationships in the digital age. Now in here, you can say, I want to have two paragraphs, three or four paragraphs, whatever you like. Again, you can change everything in here. I'm going to keep this the way it is medium and professional because that won't work really well. And I was going to write this for us. And there you go. It is finished. So here you can see uh, introduction in today's age. Social media has become an integral part of our lives, whether uh, one acknowledge it or not. It has affected and influenced each individual's uh, lives in some way or the other. Well, this content looks already better. So let's copy this again to GPT zero. There you go. And let's scan this. And here you go. It has 3%. Uh, it's, this text is mostly like written by human. There's a 3% probability this text was entirely written by AI. So this is a good result. Let's go to the other one. Let's scan them all for uh, the final one. So the previous one was 100%. And this one is another 100% AI. Uh, human written. Let's go to this one. Let's see if we can also get 100% here. There you go. 100% human written. And let's take another AI generator and detect. Let's see if we can get 100% here as well. Human written. And there you go. 100% human written. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a document here below the description so you can check out the content yourself, which has been written by Style GPT. There's, by the way, also a um, Chrome extension, which allows you to directly send the information or the content that you've written inside of ChatGPT directly to Style GPT. For me, it didn't work, so I cannot show you because this button did not show on my ChatGPT account. So that's why I showed you manually, but there is a plugin available as well. So again, thank you for watching this video. Check out the link in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Put a thumbs up if this video was useful and su consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews and uh, if you hit that notification bell, you get notified. Hey, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.